Uh, we're just here enjoying the great uh, robotics team out here. It's a great turnout. It's helped me with my leadership. Helped me with skills, managing my time. Leadership skills, definitely. My sister told me that they had a battle bots club and that they built robots and then made them fight each other. And I thought that that was just really insane. So I showed up to the first meeting and the very first thing out of head mentor Tom's mouth was, um, now this is not battle bots, but it's something bigger. And I, I just, I stuck with it. Uh, hi, I'm Marcus Lamarucciola. I am on 2491 No Mythic and I am business captain. Hi, I'm Kelly Greenberg, also on 2491 No Mythic, and I am a new mentor this year. My name is Jordan from Team 1816, The Green Machine, and what I'm uh, doing right now is I'm a builder, so I work in the pits at uh, competitions and help build the robot. Business covers a range of marketing and uh, fundraising uh, jobs, so I raise money, I also provide t-shirts and banners, that kind of thing. And I've been mostly focusing on our developing our CAD team, uh, teaching our teaching our students CAD. It first helps kids to understand the technology that fills their world by having them build it. My name is Annika Hansen. I am part of the Robets Team 2177, and I am a programmer. My name's Alex. My name is Daniel. And my name is Alyssa, and we're programmers from Team 2052. Programmers write all of the code for the robot, so this includes drive code, code to control any appendages. So a couple years ago we wrote the code to make the robot climb the pyramid. Um, this year we wrote code with the pneumatic system so we can extend and retract the arm and actually shoot the catapult. Program, the programmers on the team write the code for the robot and uh, this year we're doing more electro electrical work on the robot. So, you know, we do the wiring and crimping on all of that and yeah. Ultimately, it helps the kids by indulging their curiosity. At its core, it's a place where you can make friends and have things in common with people. At a deeper level, however, it's for people who are interested in technology, who want to learn what this, what the stuff is around them, and want to build things that function seemingly by magic, but in reality, it's just electricity. One of the major purposes of FIRST Robotics is to support the STEM initiative. It shows them a lot of the ingenuity that students our age have and how much more that if we nurture that ingenuity and science ability that we can have a lot, a lot more great um, scientists and engineers in the future. I want to go into engineering when I um, go into college and that's because of robotics. I use my experience with the team to apply for jobs. Robotics team captain looks really nice on a resume. In fact, just member of a robotics team looks really good on a resume. What I think it does is, in school you get all these math problems and whatnot and they have nothing to do with the, with the real world or and you, you don't think you'll ever use them and you forget it. Well, in robotics, you actually, are, you actually are applying what you've learned to something in real life that is fun. This place teaches kids a lot of stuff that they can't learn in a classroom setting. Lots of things like responsibility and delegation, and thinking mechanically and electrically. Things that are difficult to achieve when it's just a teacher at the front lecturing everyone. The Minnesota Robotics Invitational is a competition that we hold uh, in the fall in our school gym. And the purpose of the Minnesota Robotics Invitational is twofold. It's to help train uh, new freshman uh, students, drivers, mentors, parent volunteers, but also it's to help spread uh, the message of FIRST and the message of STEM to our local community. Uh, I remember at last year I went to the regional tournament, I think, at the U of M, and I saw how fun it looked and everyone looked at it and having fun, so I decided, alright, I'm going to do this next year. My 
my brother's freshman year of high school, he heard about the robotics competition. He didn't actually do robotics, but he heard about the competition. So our whole family went. And after that, I was like, I'm going to do this when I get to high school. I think our team's key to success is to have a diversity of students that enjoy doing a number of different things. We've also got a number of mentors who are very willing and generous to give of their time. Without these, we couldn't do the programs that we do. These are, I think, the main things that we have. Uh, success means uh, just going out there and giving it your best, you know. You can do it. If you believe it, you can do it. Sometimes you got to start off slow. You just got to finish fast. You, know? you got to finish fast. You know what? If you fall down, just get up. Just get up. Walk away with your head high. That's all you really need. Self-confidence.